Hey, what is going now, guys? Talk Nerd City here, back for another match day experience. Today, we take on Stoke. I'm feeling positive for this one. Stoke, obviously, uh, a decent team, currently two points above us in the league. Very physical side. They do have a bit of attacking presence through Asaidi and Anatovic, but I think we can cope with that with Olsen and Martin on the, on the uh, left back and right back position. A very physical side, they've got a lot of height and strength in there, so I can't see Houlihan playing today. It'll probably be Halson in that attacking midfield role. Hopefully we can just neutralise the midfield and just try and keep the ball in their half, pressure their defence as much as possible. They haven't got an incredible amount of talent, but what they do have is a physical presence, and we need to overcome that, keep the ball on the floor, Neutralise them, trying to hoof it long. Um, Yobo and Basong, or Yobo and Bennett, hopefully, uh, gonna have to do a very good job at the back. So follow me around and let's go. So back from the game and it was a 1-1 draw for our lads in the end. Bradley Johnson with the opening goal and then Jonathan Walters equalised with a penalty later on. And then got sent off straight after basically. So it was, a, it was an interesting game and one that is hard to sort of narrow down on where we went wrong, where we dropped the two points. Uh, first of all, sorry I'm sounding a bit croaky. I've had tonsillitis the past week and it hit me fairly hard but I'm recovering now and it didn't help today with all the chanting. But, I'm feeling good, um, so let's go to you guys on Twitter quickly. The Brown Jesus says, Bassong had a shocker, Stoke were there for the taking. I have to agree there, I thought Bassong again was fairly poor, he was the fault for the penalty. I haven't seen many uh, replays of the penalty, so I can't really have a biased opinion either way. But it did look like a bit of a soft one. But the, if the defender is going in for that challenge, the forward's always going to make the most of it. That's what forwards are there to do. They're there to create chances, and if that's the only chance they're going to have, then he's going to go down. Um, Basson was poor against Villa. He was fairly poor against Tottenham, although we did keep a clean sheet, and today he looked shaky. Um, personally, I'm not too sure why Bennett isn't in there. I thought Yobo was solid again. He has to stay. But Ryan Bennett is there. He was playing fantastically before he got injured. Maybe his fitness problems, but... I'd certainly put Bennett in for our next game against Southampton. I think Bassong's just having a shocker of a season. I'm not sure if it's the captain, because he's the captain, Hewton's slightly inclined to keep him in the team, but I think give him a rest, bring Bennett back in. So I have to agree with the Brown Jesus there. Billy Plowman says, Wes was overrated. RVW needs better service and as he gets in quality positions with top movement. No attacking intent in the last 10 minutes. And, I have to agree, um, disagree with that to a certain extent. I think Wes, he is slightly overrated, but he's still a class player. Norwich fans love him. He's a legend. I love him. He's done such great things for the club. Uh, it didn't help last week when he scored and then didn't celebrate. Slightly disrespectful, but that's not the point. That's behind us. I thought he played very well today. His touch is incredible. His best game for a while, I think, in a Norwich, in a Norwich shirt today. He created a few great chances. Um, and it's just the... The, the players we have don't really run off him. They're always trying to get the ball up. They're trying to get the ball uh, behind them to try and create stuff themselves. But Wes can create stuff. Um, and our players aren't running off him. You know, stay on his shoulder and then move quickly off him. Um, there was a few pieces of fantastic interplay between him and Russell Martin in the, in the first half where we got into great positions. And it's just the wingers weren't really overlapping off uh, Houlihan today. So if they would have done that, um, I think we would have created more chances, but yeah, RBW again, he does need better service. He's getting in the positions and it's just not really happening for him. I thought he put in a great performance though today. He was all over the place. Um, but I also have to disagree with the no in attack intent in the last 10 minutes. We, we were trying to attack, we just ran out of ideas. We were, we were physically tired. Stoke gave us a beating. They're so physically strong and we found it difficult. But I think if we would have just gone long ball in the last 10 minutes, eventually something would have dropped for us on the rebound. Um, Stoke, when they were down to 10 men, they just stuck everyone on the 18-yard box, very hard to penetrate them. 
and we were unlucky not to get a winning goal. Connor says two lost points in my opinion. Could be, could also be a huge point come the end of the season. Hashtag Hewitt out. So he's a Hewitt out man. Uh, saying that two points lost today. Yeah, I think it is. I think Stoke were there for the taking, as the Brown Jesus said earlier. Um, I think they were there for the taking. And if it wasn't for the soft penalty, we would have had them. Stoke never really created much. They had a couple of good chances to crouch in our Nautovic early on. But except for that, they didn't really create anything. Um, but I suppose we didn't create much either. And Danny finally says, decent enough performance from the lads on the balance of play. I, f I feel we should have won. We will stay up. So a bit of positivity there from him. To end, he's saying that uh, he thinks we will stay up. I think we'll stay up as well. I think we've got a good enough team there. I think Hewton is, is doing all he can at the moment. He can't do anything else, I don't think. One slight... Um, the thing I, I would go against you today, just give Becchio a chance. We know Almanda hasn't got the goods for Premier League anymore. We brought him on in the last 10 minutes. Stick, El um, stick Becchio up there. Uh, keep um, Van Wolfswinkle on. Bring Becchio on. Becchio can win the flick-ons. Get Van Wolfswinkle on the shoulder of, of defenders, much like what Stoke were playing. Uh, crouching sort of that number 10 role, not playing as high up as uh, Walters, and Walters was running in behind and it worked for them quite a lot. If we would have done that in the last 10, with Becchio and Van Wolfswinkel, I think we would have done well. Uh, Hooper came on and created a few chances, but didn't really do that much, not that he had the time to do so. But 1-1 against Stoke, ideally um, not the result we wanted, um, but a point to point, you know, we, we Stoke are a tough team. We've, we've got four points off them this season, which is a decent return against a very physical side and a team that doesn't leak goals. So if you look at it that way, it's a, it's a good result. But Southampton next, um, then Sunderland, and then Swansea. We should get, I think, at least four or five points from that. Um, I, think we, I think we're going to beat Sunderland at home. I think if we get something from Southampton, maybe, because they haven't got that much to play for, and then Swansea. So, things are still looking good for Norwich. I'm pretty sure we're going to stay up. A decent performance and a decent result to get today against Stoke. If you have any thoughts, please leave them in the comments or leave, uh, leave them to me at, on Twitter, at TalkNorwich City. I hope you've enjoyed the video. My voice is going. I'll see you later. Peace out.